Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, is I perform feats of strength like bending steel bars, breaking chains, rolling up frying pans, twisting horseshoes, holding back motorcycles while taking off a full throttle, and other feats of strength as part of a live show. Kind of like the sort of thing that you would see the strong men of old, like the mighty Adam and Alexander Zass, but with a modern day twist. Now, being a modern day performing strongman and the fact that there's not a whole lot of us around these days, I figured people would have questions for me. So I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I would invite you to ask me questions. And when you do that, I get back to you with your very own custom video. Pretty neat, right? So to ask questions, you just drop it in the comments below. That's simple. So this question comes from, I'm not really sure how to pronounce this name. It's written in um, characters that I don't understand. It looks like it might be Arabic or something like that. But they said, thanks for the valuable information. I wanted to ask you how to combine yielding isometric with overcoming isometric and also an explanation of how long to hold weights isometrically for strength and endurance. And again, thanks. You're welcome. And thank you for asking that. You know, when you guys ask me questions, it lets me know what kind of content to give you. Um, and it also helps me or by giving you what you want to hear. And it also helps with the algorithm if, uh, to help other people find my channel. So thank you. So anyways, to try to answer your question, um, the answer when it comes to all things when it, with this stuff is it depends. It depends on where you are. It depends on what, what it is that you're trying to achieve. Um, but in general, when it comes to going for like maxing out your strength, Overcoming isometrics, where you're basically pushing against an immovable object with as much of the unstoppable force as you can generate in a given moment, um, would be the one that would be probably more valuable for building maximal strength. Um, and generally speaking, those contractions are going to be shorter, usually between five and 10 seconds. Although the instructions that I was given by my coach, Chris Ryder, about how long to hold these is when you feel like giving, actually, it's also with, with uh, my first mentor, New Jersey Superman, the late Greg Matonic, is when you feel like giving up, give it five more seconds. Um, now, with, uh, with the yielding isometrics, yielding isometrics are simply when something doesn't move and it wouldn't normally be maximal. It would be like an example of this would be like holding a plank position. Nothing's moving. Um, that would be a yielding isometric. Now, th the answer to that is it would depend. It could be anywhere across the map. So depending on where you are, depending on where you want to go, and depending on what you're going to find challenging in the meantime. So basically, when it comes to training, what you're attempting to do is create a stimulus which challenges your body to create an adaptation. And that adaptation comes from getting your, yourself stronger, bigger, whatever. Something that is more specific to, to train specifically for the task at hand. So I know that that doesn't, it's not like a full explanation, but basically when I create programs for people, well, when I create programs for people, it's almost never completely isometric based. I believe in all forms of, of uh, contractions, right? So within my own training program, I do have isometrics. I also have dynamic weights and I also have ballistics with like kettlebells and club bells and stuff like that because I want to have the full strength effect. I pretty much leave the overcoming isometric stuff specific to the feats that I do because the, the adaptations from isometrics tend to be a bit specific to the joint angles and 
um, or I should say the greatest gains come at the joint angles. And with something like horseshoes, it's very difficult to replicate that with weights. Same thing with like bending wrenches and, or as I was recently asked, spanners. Um, and just about every other feat, it's going to be very specific to what it is that I'm doing. But I hope that answers your question. If you have any additional follow-ups or if anybody else has any questions for me, drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you with your very own custom video. Um, and of course, you know how this YouTube thing works. If you liked it, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more of this sort of thing or you want to see the chronicles from my vlog, you may, from my vlogs or from my, uh, my various shows that I do across the country, um, I do it as a vlogumentary format. Uh, so if you want to see that sort of thing and you want to see more questions and answers, subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you think anybody should see this, please share it with them. It's not rocket science. But in the meantime, please stay happy, healthy, and strong. Eric Moss, over and out.